we are using this design to test a template for a group of garden designers based in New Jersey. And we're nearing the end. We think we are working quite well now. This will be the area for our design, but over on the right will be common species that we're going to use. And every one of these species is already tagged. So these symbols can just be dragged into position. I haven't quite finished. And we have a tool to show all the symbols with names. And I noticed this one down here, and let's zoom in on it, hasn't yet been signed to a species. All of these others will show species information in the properties box. We assign a name to a species by simply selecting it and go to GCAD plus and say set species data. And we're after one called Redbud, not one I'm familiar with, but it finds Circeus canadensis flame float thrower. So we say OK. Now when we come back here, we see its correct name and the common name as well are there. So now we would feel reasonably confident to blow all of this design away and start a new drawing here. But before we go down that path, it's a good idea to test the layouts. So here's a landscape plan, and you can see the logo and client information and so on are sitting here. There's a nice border around, and we have the plant schedule here. I think we need to dive in there and increase the text height there, but the grass area through here is showing through. So it's time to do a little bit of work on that schedule. So we'll go back to the model and see if we can find the schedule, which we love to make well away from the rest of it. So I can explode that and break it up. Or do I need to? Maybe I don't. What I want to be able to do is I want to mask things so I could say draw a rectangle just outside here. I could give it a colour, we'll make it white, because we want to mask that, and I'll fill it, say yes, whoops, and there it is, we will bring that to the front, sorry, what I need to is select the white area that we've just added, Alternatively, this is the text we want. We can send it, we'll bring it to the front. So now it's showing. The last thing to do is to jump in there and right click and edit and make that plant shed at least as high as this one. So here, that text is 1.2. So let's make this one 1.2 and then close the plant schedule, or close the block editor rather. And now we, when we go back here to the, and we go, come back, well, let's zoom extents. There's our sort of working area. And let's go to an, a, a plan now. Can you see that the hatching was behind there is now obliterated. So I think we've made good progress now getting into a position where we can just about make a template for this group to work with.